Iune Bam, why do you want to change the constitution and make everyone turn gay? Oh no Belize action. We are not changing the constitution. We just want to have our rights respected. Section 53 is being used to make it illegal for people of the same sex to be intimate with each other, even in the privacy of their own home. The constitution says that we have a right to privacy. So we are not changing the constitution. We are asking the court to uphold the rights that you and I share. But the Bible says that homosexuality is a sin and you should be put to death for being with a person of the same sex. And then after you die, you should burn in hell for all eternity. You have the right to believe what you want to believe. You do not have to accept homosexuality. Your church is free to preach that homosexuality is evil. Those are your rights under our constitution. But the same constitution protects all of us from any group imposing their religious views on the laws of Belize. But my pastor tells me that Belize is a Christian nation. It is as written into the constitution. No. The preamble to the constitution recognizes the supremacy of God, but it does not define the concept of God. Neither does it refer to Christianity. There is nothing in our constitution that empowers any religious body to set policy or define laws in Belize. But most people I know go to church every Sunday, and they are told at church that it is wrong to be gay. So is that not a good enough reason to send homosexuals to prison? No. Belize has signed on to various declarations, including the International Bill of Rights. Even the Catholic Church has come out against criminalizing people for being homosexual. But what about the children? If we don't send gays to prison, won't they just start raping little boys? My pastor tells me that all homosexuals are really just child molesters looking to have sex with children. There was even a newspaper story that confirms this. Oh Belize action. Please to do not confuse homosexuality with pedophilia. You only raise that red herring to try to distort the issue. Sex with children is illegal and will always be illegal. But if we change section 53, what will protect boys from being raped? Section 45 already makes it a crime to commit an indecent assault on a minor. But what about rape? My pastor told me that if we remove section 53, only girls will be protected from rape. Anyone will be able to rape little boys and the law will not be able to do anything about it. Well it is true that section 47 does only refer to rape of girls. But that does not mean it will be open season on boys. Seriously, do you think anyone will stand aside and let boys be raped? We will be able to revise the law to make it stronger and provide protection for all children, boys and girls. Okay. So even if you will not be raping the boys, and even if the constitution says that it should not be illegal to be gay, I still cannot accept your lifestyle. I believe it to be a sin. If it becomes legal to be gay, how long until my church school is forced to hire gay teachers? You will never be forced to hire gay teachers. That is called affirmative action, and we do not have such policies in Belize. However you will not be able to fire people for being gay. In fact you never did have that right in the first place. Maria Roche has established that, when she won her case against the church. The church thought they could fire her for getting pregnant outside of marriage. But the Supreme Court ruled that her constitutional rights could not be infringed upon by church dogma. So nothing will change at your church school if section 53 is found to be unconstitutional. But that doesn't change the fact that the Bible says you are wicked for being gay. In Leviticus it says. Let me stop you right there. This is a constitutional issue, not a debate on morality. You will likely never accept my sexual orientation. It hurts me that you think I am evil, but it is your right to believe what you believe. I respect your rights. Why will you not respect mine? Because you are a fag. Oops, I mean because my church tells me that you are wrong and that you need to find Jesus and stop being gay. This may surprise you, but some of us have already found Jesus. But not everyone feels the same way about religion as you do. Some Christians do not have an issue with homosexuality. In Belize we are free to believe what we want to believe. But like I said before, this is a constitutional issue. Not a religious debate. 
but my church believes it is wrong. Was your church elected to run the whole fucking country? Is your church appointed to be justices on the Supreme Court of Belize? Right. I didn't think so. So you have no moral authority to make laws in our country. Why I am finding myself suddenly very attracted to you? No. Must resist. Must go pray away my gay. It's okay Belly's action. Be who you want to be. We will accept you as you are. 